Today I'm visiting the Dubai campus of Institute of Marangoni, one of the flagship design schools opened here in Dubai and I will be talking to Elena who's the academic director to know more about the programs offered here. Hi Elena, thank you for welcoming us to the prestigious campus of Institute of Marangoni Dubai. Please tell us a little bit about the programs that are offered here and the purpose with or the mission with which this campus was opened in Dubai. I'm Elena Marinoni. I'm the director of education at Istituto Marangoni Dubai. I'm from Milan, Italy, and I've been working in Istituto Marangoni since 2007. So happy to celebrate my 16th year in Dubai. We opened in 2022. This is the 10th uh, uh, campus in our global network. Uh, Istituto Marangoni uh, was founded in 1935 in uh, my city, Milan, Italy. And uh, uh, currently in Dubai, we uh, have achieved a very important uh, accreditation. We are a higher education institution, so a university, uh, offering undergraduate and postgraduate courses across a number of different study areas. We have fashion design and accessories, uh, the BA. We have visual design, uh, we have interior design, fashion business, fashion styling and creative direction. And uh, when it comes to postgraduate programs, uh, we are currently offering uh, two signature uh, master uh, programs. The very famous uh, master program in uh, fashion and luxury brand management and the master program in uh, uh, interior design. And uh, I'd like to say in a nutshell that our mission at Istituto Marangoni Dubai is to grow a new generation of creative talents in this amazing region, uh, really a land of incredible job opportunities, uh, since Dubai has become a new epicenter for fashion, design, luxury and arts at large, and we are here to give our contribution to the fashion and design ecosystems. With the partnership uh, design school uh, needs in a country, you need uh, industry partners, you need collaborations. Uh, we see some of the most popular brands in the UAE. What have, has your experience been or what kind of industry partnerships you have for the students to be successful in the programs that are offered? Well, thank you for these questions because it gives me the opportunity to uh, stress how key is for us the connection with the industry. This is uh, uh, for Marangoni one of the distinctive uh, traits. Uh, in Dubai, we somehow disrupted uh, the Marangoni approach, which is already a lot uh, industry oriented. But usually in the other Marangoni schools, uh, industry projects uh, are developed uh, in uh, the third year of the BA or at the master level. But since Dubai is uh, an incredible city and the pace of the city is the city is running so fast and so on we have decided strategically to anticipate these kind of opportunities for our students which means that we have launched the uh, industry projects uh, uh, from the foundation year uh, foundation year, year one, and then of course year two, year three, master level, but from the very, very beginning our students are involved in industry projects. Uh, just to name a few of the collaborations that we have developed uh, over the, the past uh, uh, less than two years, we did an amazing collaboration with the Giving Movement, the very famous and super cool uh, sustainable uh, active wear fashion brand at leisure specialized in at leisure uh, we also launched a project for capellini 
the very famous uh, design firm specialized in uh, furniture pieces and contemporary design. Then we had uh, um, an amazing project also for the fashion business area with Level Shoes, which is part of uh, the luxury uh, group Shaloub. And also we uh, are having uh, an amazing academic partnership with Swarovski Middle East for their uh, program of reignited crystals. And many more uh, projects. Basically we have on average one industry project per semester. And this is for us key because in this way our students have the opportunity to develop their portfolio along the way. Instead of waiting for the third year, they little by little build their portfolio. And when it comes to portfolio design, portfolio review, how to meet the industry standards, every year we organize special sessions with the top professionals. In this sense, last year we had the opportunity to organize portfolio review sessions with Sara Sozzani Maino, who is the founder of Vogue Talents, the very famous platform and she gave one-to-one -one feedbacks to our students on uh, do's and don'ts of portfolio design. And this year as well we have uh, a very uh, special mentors uh, meeting with our students and supporting them in their uh, uh, project development, meaning for the uh, design area, interior design area in particular, the More Studio. Uh, meaning uh, Brit Moran and Emiliano Salci, the uh, magic duo behind the Dimore Studio. They are specialized in uh, uh, luxury hospitality, luxury retail. It's a bit like traveling with a time machine uh, in their projects, whereas for the design area we have Sabrina Mandelli. Sabrina Mandelli is not only a Parangoni alumna, but she has been uh, for more than eight years the head of women's wear at Off-White, the very famous uh, brand, uh, working uh, um, close to uh, Virgil Abloh. And now Sabrina Mandelli is, uh, uh, I mean, it's, three, four years uh, that she is also the creative director of her own uh, brand, Sheena, which is for us an incredible uh, typology of mentor because comprises not only fashion design but also fashion entrepreneurship. And courses in fashion entrepreneurship are extremely popular in Dubai because it seems that there is this appetite for uh, entrepreneurship. So that's very interesting. Fashion entrepreneurship is more popular than design, but it comes with no surprise in the region because we do have highly creative people, but yes, with an entrepreneurial mindset. And it's really nice to see the kind of collaborations you have fostered. Not a surprise though with the, uh, the prestige and the name and the branding that Instituto Marangoni brings here. Where do you see most of the students coming from that are joining you since 2022? Are they mainly from the UAE or, you know, you're able to attract students from the other Middle Eastern countries or neighboring countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, etc.? Well, Istituto Marangoni Dubai is an extremely uh, multicultural environment. At the moment, uh, in our students' population, we have uh, around 40 different nationalities represented, uh, which is quite a number, uh, especially because uh, here in Dubai we are only in our second year of operations. And we have uh, students from the entire GCC uh, region, uh, and then, of course, India and uh, Russia, we have uh, also some students from Europe, we have uh, students from UAE, especially uh, girls, uh, extremely talented girls, and uh, we love the idea that uh, this school, this university is actually uh, a hub. A hub not only for students but also for the alumni that are now working in the region uh, in uh, key positions uh, in the very best companies but it's also an hub able to attract uh, um, experts 
uh, fashion and design lovers at large. In this sense, we have a very rich program of uh, initiatives uh, aimed at uh, engaging the community uh, at large. Just to name a few, the industry talks that we organize, uh, we have joined both downtown design uh, during the Dubai Design Week. Uh, we joined uh, with a very uh, nice pavilion, also Seoul, Dubai the street uh, culture festival uh, uh, held during a COP28 with a, a very rich program of uh, talks and workshops uh, all revolving around the circularity and sustainability. Uh, recently we also joined the DIFC Art Nights because uh, I'd like to stress that we are also located in the beating heart of the IFC which is one of the fastest growing districts in town and it's a unique combination of business and finance and arts and also nightlife and fine dining and this resonates a lot with uh, with us so yes the environment is extremely multicultural and this becomes really uh, a way to fuel our students' creativity because we do encourage uh, uh, exchange, uh, we do encourage uh, like uh, opening uh, uh, and broadening horizons uh, because it's through the exchange uh, um, that students can understand the different perspectives, that they can open uh, their mind, uh, that they can uh, uh, also culturally speaking uh, drive uh, change uh, in uh, towards a better future do you see um, the students from your other locations you have 10 locations globally willing to come to Dubai to get a different experience and how flexible is it do students get to choose which campus they join once they are at a home campus or is decided by the administrative team on campus yes we we do have students transferring from other Marangoni schools uh, for instance from uh, Marangoni London uh, Marangoni Mumbai uh, Marangoni Milano both the fashion and design campus and the other way around we have some students that uh, started their uh, uh, education journey here and then they, uh, they, they relocated. Uh, we think that this is uh, a huge added value for a creative mind uh, because basically the idea to experience different uh, uh, cultural contexts uh, uh, really makes the difference, especially in order to develop uh, an international mindset. And we have uh, um, a cross-school policy uh, to, uh, let's say, uh, evaluate uh, applications from students that are willing to transfer, uh, that are willing to leave and then to come back uh, and so on. We have, of course, a number of requirements and rules and so on. Everything is defined through a policy. And we have also like uh, uh, special initiatives uh, to promote this exchange, uh, especially among the um, schools that are accredited. Uh, plus, we have a very special uh, uh, relation with the Marangoni schools that are actually training centers, such as in Mumbai, uh, Shanghai, Shenzhen. Uh, in this sense, uh, in order to then get their diploma, students uh, at a certain point uh, are asked to decide uh, are you willing to transfer to London, to Dubai, to Milano and our team, the admission team and so on, are there also to support in each and every student to understand what it takes to transfer because of course it's an opportunity but it's also like a process that needs to be supported uh, uh, in the right way, yes. But we do encourage this, uh, I, I think it's uh, a great added value. Especially the creative programs, it's um, the exchange opportunities that you're providing students not only gives them an, a chance to explore a different country's culture, I think which adds to their creativity, so that is absolutely fantastic. Um, what are the trends you're seeing um, in the fashion and the interior design industry? 
um, in the next, let's say, two or three years. It'll be great to hear from the expert. My area of expertise is trend forecasting. This is uh, together with cool hunting, uh, uh, the subject that I've been uh, teaching in, uh, in Marangoni uh, over the past uh, now 16 years. And uh, well, there are, uh, let's say, two major drivers of change uh, nowadays, uh, influencing uh, trends uh, and, and also influencing innovation. On one hand, uh, of course, it's sustainability. Sustainability not only as a, uh, an ethical principle, but really as a transformational driver of change, impacting uh, uh, business models, uh, materials, uh, processes, uh, consumer behaviors, uh, and of course aesthetics uh, uh, as well. So we have a number of trends uh, resulting uh, from the impact of uh, sustainability uh, in all the creative disciplines on one hand. And the other major driver of change is of course technological disruption. Uh, meaning the advent of AI, the advent of uh, the metaverse, uh, Web3, the blockchain, uh, the um, so-called technological convergence with uh, mixed reality and this, uh, uh, let's say, frontier of experimentation uh, where uh, what is physical and what is virtual, uh, they tend to overlap uh, and the boundaries become blurred uh, and so on. Also in this case, uh, we see this uh, as, a, as a mega trend, uh, generating a number of sub-trends. Uh, for instance, I don't know, the gamification of brand experiences, uh, but also fashion uh, taking inspiration from video games, uh, or uh, uh, all the issue of the digital collectibles and NFTs uh, used as a way to create loyalty. Uh, so it's, it's uh, like a proliferation of uh, sub-trends that in a way or in the other way result from the impact of these uh, two major drivers of change. And interestingly enough, sometimes we see the convergence of these two drivers of change. For instance, when uh, sustainability meets uh, extreme technological disruption, we have uh, the solar punk aesthetic, which is uh, like an aesthetic a bit taken from uh, science fiction movies or uh, science fiction literature, but then impacting, uh, for instance, architecture, impacting uh, uh, product design and shapes uh, and new materials. Um, so this is uh, very interesting, especially when it comes to trends, uh, the boundaries uh, become uh, blurred. And if we develop this capability to spot emerging trends and to see the implications across different uh, study areas, we gain uh, a competitive advantage. And in conclusion, another aspect that I'd like to highlight is uh, the uh, rising uh, relevance of uh, uh, well-being. We um, really need to conquer back this uh, sense of uh, calm uh, and detox uh, and, and well-being, uh, a more balanced uh, relation with the planet, with other human beings. Uh, uh, and and in, in a way this is also redefining the idea of luxury. Um, so this is another topic that we that we cover uh, in uh, in Dubai because uh, it's uh, something that will be more and more relevant in the future. What do you think is the biggest USB for Institute of Marangoni which distinguishes it from other design institutes in the region here? Well, uh, we have become the very first uh, foreign university gaining the accreditation from the UAE Ministry uh, in creative fields. So this uh, position us uh, in a way that for the moment has uh, um, no competitors. The other aspect that I'd like to stress is that uh, uh, higher education in the region is 
very it's a very high level i mean the uh, competitive basket is very uh, crowded uh, because of the fact that there are so many well established uh, universities very solid uh, also with uh, a very strong vision and we love uh, being part of this uh, scenario uh, what differentiates us is that actually we are a university specialized in fashion and design. We are not a university that provides many different areas, including fashion and design. We are specialists in this sense and since 1935. So this creates a very strong, unique selling proposition for us. Thank you so much. That was amazing. It's in fact been a pleasure being on this boutique campus of yours with them. We're sitting in a very cozy library. We got a chance to talk to a few students and see the uh, passion they had. And uh, they were working in small groups. They were just loving the entire process. So good luck with all your endeavors in the region. There is no doubt Instituto Marangoni is one of the finest for fashion and design and we look forward to sending many, many more students your way. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been uh, such a true pleasure to have you and to have the opportunity for this uh, conversation. Uh, we do love what we do here. We are very proud of what we have achieved. We are well aware of the fact that this is only the starting point of a, of a long journey. We have really big plans for the future in Dubai and broadly speaking in the region because this is a brand new world and the opportunities that we see here for our students can't be found honestly in other areas of the world where for a number of different reasons the conditions are very different. So we are extremely proud of this new Marangoni school and we firmly believe in UAE as a region that will be more and more the epicenter for this, uh, for this new uh, world. And we also love the fact that in our boutique campus, as you said, because it's, it's a lovely boutique campus, uh, like every student is unique and special. Uh, the fact that we have uh, uh, small classes, small numbers by choice uh, to uh, favor this one-to-one -one connection with the tutors because especially in creative fields each uh, person is unique and we have to find for every student the right way to enhance the creativity, the business acumen and so on. So only keeping these small numbers and creating an environment that is safe, that is beautiful, that is comfortable, that is functional, we achieve this. And we learn a lot from our students. This is uh, the aspect that I, I love the most, that it's a mutual, uh, let's say, um, continuous uh, growth. And uh, um, yes, thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to share with you our vision. <laughs>